Hey guys, what's going on? So look, over the last 10 years or so, the construction equipment industry has seen a particularly rapid advance of technology. Of course, the world around us feels like it's constantly shifting under our feet these days due to the proliferation of technology, the internet and screens and just about every facet of our lives. But the construction industry was a longer holdout from this technological transformation than most other industries. Now, perhaps the first tree to fall in this digital advance into the construction industry was tier four final regulations. Now, these rules required lower engine emissions from construction machines and off-highway trucks. Now, as a result, this introduced more complexity into diesel engine designs, and many manufacturers actually use this opportunity to introduce new wiring harnesses that would lead to electrohydraulic control schemes and eventually battery electric and autonomous machines. And it was right around that time, 2010 to 2014, that the subject of today's video began to ignite a company-wide focus on accelerating innovation. In 2014, the Bobcat Acceleration Center opened in Bismarck, North Dakota, a $28 million investment in creating the next wave of great ideas. The Acceleration Center has certainly lived up to its name. Since its 2014 opening, Bobcat has established a pace of innovation, invention, and revision that is simply unmatched in the compact equipment segment. Now, the result has been a flurry of prototypes and product launches, and in some situations, those prototypes turning into product launches a couple of years down the line. Now, in the last four years, Bobcat has introduced everything from cabless compact loaders, fully electric machines, and even cab glass that is transparent one second before turning into a giant touchscreen display the next. Now, as people that cover the compact equipment space very closely, and because of all these interesting new ideas and products that Bobcat has been introducing, we wanted to take some time to get a better understanding of what exactly goes into product development at Bobcat, and why introducing so many concepts and prototypes is important to the company. So following the opening of the Bismarck Acceleration Center in 2014, a small group of about four people inside Bobcat started chatting with CEO Scott Park about making sure that Bobcat as a company was truly open to experimenting with all types of cutting edge technology. Now this led to a lot of ground up R&D work. But the group led by Joel Honeyman started to wonder how things might change if that ground up R&D work started to come from the top down of the organization. How would that change the culture of Bobcat? So about seven years ago, Bobcat established a team dedicated to innovation within the company. And today, Today, Honeyman is the Vice President of Global Innovation at Bobcat, and that small team of his has now grown into what is basically a division within the company that works with parts of the entire organization to address how to make Bobcat equipment more productive, easier to use, and safer, in addition to creating wholly new product categories with bleeding edge technology. In short, you can kind of think of Honeyman's innovation staff as a tech-focused construction equipment startup inside of a 77 year old company. The same company that invented the skid steer back in 1957. So if we're looking at the company's motivations here, the first and foremost reason Bobcat has this energy around innovation is to build upon its legacy of being an innovator. Now the company does remain dedicated to building equipment that meets the needs of today's construction business owner and today's equipment operator but it's also focused on doing what it needs to do to remain relevant and set itself up for success in the next 77 years of its history. Now to Bobcat, that means not being afraid of building out new ideas quickly, trying out bleeding edge technologies or with presenting customers with bad ideas. And it also means to listening to customers when they tell you that you might be focusing on the wrong part of what could be a good idea. Now, Max Control Machine Remote Control is the first big idea that really came out of the Bobcat innovation team and actually progressed to commercial availability. And it's a really good example of this focus. Bobcat initially came up with a bunch of ideas around full autonomy for compact loaders. And to get those ideas ready to demonstrate for customers, the team rigged up a rudimentary remote control app on an iPad. So in the demo, they were able to make the loader go back and forth automatically and automatically load onto and off of a trailer. However, after the demonstration was over, customers were less interested in the loaders working autonomously than they were in this iPad remote control function. So Bobcat listened to the feedback and Max Control Remote Operation was launched in 2019. But look, you can't have relevancy and legacy if you don't also create actual solutions, machines and features that solve real customer pain points. So the second reason that Bobcat has adopted such a frenetic pace of innovation is really twofold. One, they wanna address customer pain points through unique solutions. And two, they wanna make sure that they're doing that faster than the competition. But doing that doesn't just mean listening to customers and addressing the issues they're having today. 
It also means being able to identify technology that may not be quite mature enough for commercialization just yet, but could address a problem that customers don't even know they have in a few years time. Now, Bobcat's Rogue X and Rogue X2 vehicles are good examples of this type of work. Now, the Rogue X was unveiled at Con Expo 2023 and is a concept machine that reimagines the compact track loader. And the Rogue X story actually begins years before its release. It builds upon the development of the Bobcat T7X compact track loader and the S7X skid steer, prototypes of which were seen all the way back at Con Expo 2020. And each and every compact equipment manufacturer out there has been actively developing electric machines like these two since that time. But Bobcat made it a point to be the first to release an electric CTL in the T7X and skid steer in the S7X to the market. Now the T7X was launched in 2022 initially through a rental partner and the S7X is still in development but it's getting really close to availability. Now like the T7X and S7X, the Rogue X is fully electric, meaning that it's not only battery powered, it uses electric motors and actuators as well in place of hydraulics. But the most unique aspect of Rogue X is its lack of a cap, making it designed for remote or fully autonomous operation only. And while exploring automation is certainly one of the driving forces behind Rogue X, Bobcat says the most important design exploration the company is doing with this machine has to do with how a CTL that doesn't have a cab can function differently from one that does. For instance, because the Rogue X has no cab, Bobcat was actually able to engineer a completely unique lift arm construction. The lift arm on Rogue X runs right down the middle of the machine. And because of this, the machine doesn't need two lift cylinders. Instead, Rogue X has a single electric actuator that runs right down the middle of the machine. More importantly, this design allowed Bobcat to design a very unique lift arm geometry that can both raise and move forward. That means it supports both vertical path and radial path lift capabilities on one CTL. And this allows Rogue X to supply an extra two feet at the top of a dump while also being flexible enough for all types of jobs that you might do with a loader or a loader attachment. Now, earlier this year at CES, Bobcat released the Rogue X2, which is essentially a wheeled version of that Rogue X. So if the Rogue X is a futuristic all-electric cabless CTL, the Rogue X2 is a futuristic all-electric cabless skid steer. Now, Bobcat says the major benefit of putting wheels on the Rogue X2 is that powering wheels consumes far less energy than powering tracks. And that means the Rogue X2 can go up to eight hours on a single charge of the battery compared to the Rogue X's four and a half to five hours. Now look, Bobcat may never bring either of these machines to market, or they might. But whether a machine that looks exactly like one of these concepts does hit the market isn't really the point. The point, the real value, is what Bobcat learns from building these machines and features manufacturing them as prototypes, and then the reaction that they generate from customers. And the value in this type of investment is really the experience and knowledge that Bobcat gains as they build the machines that actually do hit the market in the future, and how those machines apply the lessons learned by not being afraid of any one idea. Now, another benefit of having an organization-wide open-mindedness to any technology and any implementation is that it allows for truly original solutions and a lead in a future category that might not even exist prior Prior to its conception. And that brings us to the third reason for Bobcat's focus on innovation, creating paradigm shifting technologies. And that's exactly what Bobcat's transparent display tech represents. Now the history of this is that during a trip to CES about six years ago, Honeyman and his team saw the demonstration of a projection based head up display that could project data to the windshield of an automobile. You've seen some of these released, I think GMC might have one and a couple of other automakers. Now the company decided to build out a few ideas of how this technology might work on construction equipment, but this projection-based technology didn't result in anything very compelling to the Bobcat team. But the project did get the team thinking, why couldn't the whole panel of glass be a display? So they ordered a 52-inch OLED TV, they peeled it out of its frame, and they mounted it to the front glass of an excavator and turned it on. And what they saw was far more interesting than anything that they had been able to come up with with that projector-based technology. So the company kept working on the idea, and over time they eventually struck up a partnership with LG Display and devised a way to embed a transparent LG OLED touchscreen display into the glass of a construction vehicle cab. Now, Bobcat first showed this technology off to the public at the Bama show in Munich in 2022. And in that first showing, Bobcat replaced the boom side window of a telehandler with a transparent display. Now, when the display was off, you could see right through it like a normal window, maybe a tinted normal window. But when it was turned on, you can still see roughly what's on the other side of the glass, but overlaid on top of that view is a remarkably vibrant and crisp touchscreen display. Now, 
in that telehandler implementation, Bobcat tied the transparent display window to a camera that allowed the operator to kind of see through the telehandler boom when it was in a position that would normally block the operator's view to that side of the machine. But Bobcat and LG have continued to revise and improve upon the technology. And this year at CES, Bobcat showed a skid steer with the transparent display in the front glass of the machine. Like the telehandler demo from 2022, the display was able to show a camera view, but this time it gave the operator a view of the front blade edge. And look, though electrification and autonomy have really dominated the tech news around construction equipment for several years now, Bobcat's transparent display really feels like a viable solution that few people, if anyone, saw coming. And while just about every competitor has either released an electric machine or is working on releasing one, none of them have Bobcat's proprietary transparent display technology, which the company, by the way, is busy patenting. And this transparent display technology is particularly timely with the recent rise of augmented reality devices such as Apple's Vision Pro and Meta's Quest 3 headsets. AR is a technology that offers several clear benefits to the construction industry today. And Bobcat is exploring implementations with this technology as simple as the ability to move core display functions such as operation indicators, maintenance alerts, and camera displays up to this transparent display to put it in your field of view. But it's also exploring a little bit more, the idea of being able to overlay the job site in front of the operator, that view, with site plans that update in real time. Now, with all of this in mind, Honeyman and Bobcat are the first to admit that traditional diesel hydraulic construction equipment with no frills and no, you know, very simple technology will be around for a long time yet. However, whether it's with the aim of imagining the next production increasing feature, changing the way people use a machine to make it more efficient or safer, attracting new talent to come to Bobcat to build these things, or ensuring that the company's long history continues well into the future, Bobcat is fully invested in the exploration of new ideas and technologies, and they are doing so at an unmatched pace. Now, during a recent conversation, Honeyman told me that Bobcat doesn't just want to be, you know, a company that shows off cool pictures of concepts in PowerPoint presentations. The company's true love at the end of the day, and what Honeyman feels makes the company special, is building real things that make life easier for its customers and empower them to change the world around them. All right, guys, that's all we've got for this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you again to Joel Honeyman and the rest of the folks at Bobcat for letting me into their world uh, and checking out you know, what makes innovation and product development tick within the company. Again, thank you so much for, for watching. We really appreciate it. If you like this video and found it informative in any kind of way, we'd really appreciate if you hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel. Both of those things really help us bring you more videos like this one in the future. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And be sure to check out Compact Equip dot com.